Welcome back to Mommy Says here on The Toy Insider. I am here every other week with some parenting advice about toys and stuff. Anyway, okay, it is quickly upon us. It is November. It's coming. You know what it is. You know what it is because they started putting out stuff for it before Halloween even happened which just makes me crazy. I just wish we could finish one holiday before we start putting out stuff for the next holiday. Could we please? Because you know what's gonna happen. Christmas and Hanukkah are, are, are gonna be almost upon us and they're gonna start putting out the Valentine stuff. It just, it makes me crazy. Anyway, the holidays, the big holidays are upon us. So Christmas season, Hanukkah season, Kwanzaa season, they be here. And um, even if you're not a religious person, there is absolutely no way to escape Christmas <laughs> in America. It is just crazy. The desk is all sticky because we just did a craft challenge and there's like glue all over it. Um, it's just impossible to escape. It really is. They've made it impossible. But... That's okay because it really can be a lot of fun. And if we keep it in perspective and, and we, we try to, you know, keep in mind the, um, the good things that uh, come with this time of year, then I think um, you can make it a lot better for yourself and for your kids and less stressful. So what I would like to talk to you about this week, as you can see from the title, is this is, if you don't already do this throughout the year, um, the holiday season is a great time of year to start modeling for your children the behavior of giving to others. So um, there are so many opportunities around this time of year to get involved in your community. Um, you can, I mean, go look online. Do you have a food bank? Pretty much every community has a food bank um, or a soup kitchen or something like that. Can you donate to that? Is there an option for uh, you to take your children? I know, um, our Community Food Bank of New Jersey does just this huge, huge um, thing every year with, um, you know how you like at the supermarket, if you spend enough money throughout the year, as it gets close to Thanksgiving, you qualify for like a free ham or turkey. And a lot of people don't need the turkey because they go somewhere else. So our food bank collects the turkeys. So they have um, turkey, turkey. They have turkey drop-off places um, all over the state. So um, you know we always donate our turkey, but then they, at that same time, people donate a lot of canned goods and stuff. So they need a lot of sorting. And very often sorting is something that at your local food bank you can do with your children. Um, kids can sort, you know, no matter how small they are, they can sit with you and sort things into groups, you know, green beans and cranberries um, or putting together the baskets, you know, go tell them, okay, now you need to go get the green beans from the green bean section. And um, so that is something really awesome that you can do with your children is to put together those um, baskets of Thanksgiving for families in need. Um, also, I know I have friends who have made it a tradition that um, actually on Thanksgiving or Christmas, their family actually goes to a local soup kitchen and serves the homeless on those days. So um, they have their dinner at their house, a much less elaborate affair than probably most of us are doing later on after they've gone with the kids um, to the soup kitchen and, and served those who, who weren't otherwise going to get a hot holiday meal that day. I, I just, I think that's awesome. I'm, I'm always, you know, very moved when I think about that. Um, Another great way to get your children involved this year is um, find out if, if your, your places of worship or um, local women's shelters have things, sometimes they're called angel lists, secret Santas, wish lists, where you can adopt a family or a child and get that child's wish list for um, their Christmas or Hanukkah or holiday presents that they're hoping for and that you can kind of be Santa for that child. Um, and so you just, you know, you, you choose that to adopt that family or that child and fulfill their wish list. Also, it's very, very simple to do. Toys R Us has made it incredibly easy to be a part of the Toys for Tots program. The Marines have been doing this since 1947 
and um, Toys for Tots is just amazing. And I mean, they hundreds of millions of toys have been donated. Millions and millions of children have, have had a Merry Christmas uh, since 1947 because of the Marine Corps and Toys for Tots. And um, for about 14 years now, Toys R Us has been um, joining forces with Toys for Tots. So when you're doing your holiday shopping, there is a Toys for Tots bin over at the checkout at your um, Toys R Us and just grab an extra something and um, put it in the bin. Also at checkout, um, you'll, you'll, you know, the little thing will pop up and it'll ask you, would you like to donate for Toys for Tots? You could donate a dollar. I mean, a dollar, you know, if everybody donates a dollar, that's like if everybody in America donated a dollar, right? That'd be hundreds of millions of dollars. I mean, like, think about that. Not hundreds of millions. Well, it'd be millions. It would be, yeah, it'd be hundreds of millions. It'd be a lot of money. I can't do math. I can't math. But so, you know, do whatever you can, but make sure your children see you doing it. Take your children to Toys R Us and say, okay, guys, we're going to go to Toys R Us today, but we're not going for ourselves. Okay, I would like each of you to pick out a toy to donate to another child. Maybe you're on a tight budget and it's very hard to do that. Um, one other thing you could do is to actually, when your children are making their Christmas list, um, have them make their wish list and then ask each of them, you know, talk to them about children in need, about how come some children, um, you know, aren't going to have a Christmas. You know, we need to have these conversations. Sometimes we maybe want to shelter our children from some of the uglier sides of life, but yeah, you can't always do that. And you don't want them to not know that they're out there, you know, people who need their help. So sit down, talk to them and talk about it this time of year. This isn't the season of getting, it's the season of giving and ask them to designate one of the toys on their list and say, how about, you know, you pick one of the toys on this list and instead of Santa getting this for you, how about we get it and donate it to Toys for Tots. Last year, um, Gracie found a, a Rainbow Dash um, pop figure that she had been looking for for a long time when we were on our Toys for Tots um, big toy hunt that we do. And she was all excited. And then at checkout, she put it in the shopping cart for Toys for Tots. And I was like, that's the Toys for Tots stuff, honey. And she's like, she's like, yeah, I mean, I don't really need it. It'll probably make somebody else really happy. You know, and it, it's, it's times like that when I'm like, oh my gosh, we're doing it right. You know, it always it's always you know reaffirming when you when your kid actually gets it. <laughs> you feel like, oh wow, we're actually doing it right. So it, there's all different kinds of ways to give. Uh, your children could go do something like um, go sing in, in a nursing home, uh, go do crafts or bring cookies to a nursing home. Just you know, go online. Keep your eye open around your community. If you get a community newspaper, like we, in our town, there's like the free newspaper that goes around and it'll always have in there starting around this time of year. It'll start to um, have stories about what opportunities there are for families to get involved in giving or bringing cheer to people's lives. And uh, this is the best time. If you, if you haven't had a moment to do it any other time this year, this is the best time of year to teach your child how to give, how to be selfless, how to sacrifice, and how to give to others. And they will learn without you even telling them that it feels good. They'll just feel that feeling, you know, like the Grinch and their heart will grow, you know, four sizes too big. And they'll be all like, wow, that's such an awesome feeling. And, and I have to admit that, you know, giving can become addictive in its own way. And that's the best addiction to have, if you ask me. So please encourage your children to give this year. I'll put some links below um, to uh, Toys for Tots and some information about, um, uh, you know, uh, Second Harvest and Feeding America and uh, No Kid Hungry, which are, are, are all organizations that can help you be a launch launching point to try and finding a place for you and your family to get involved this holiday season. Until I see you next week, thank you so much for watching and make sure you are subscribed here to the Toy Insider. We are ramping up to the big holiday toy shopping season. Make sure you check out, I will link it below, the uh, Toy Insider Holiday Gift Guide to find out, you know, toys, they're, they're broken up by age group, by time, type of toy and find out what they do, how much they are and decide, okay, is this something I really want to get my kid or not? So definitely use them for a resource. Mike will be back next Monday. And until I see you again, thank you so much for watching. Bye.